Hi, I'm Mo, and this is Clifford, my big red fan. I just recently purchased this used minivan and currently converting it into a mini camper van with the intentions of living in it full time while traveling the country. Join me on this wild journey by subscribing to the channel and turning on your notifications so you know when I post a new video. In this video, I will be unboxing some essential items I have bought for the van. Keep watching to see what I purchased. All right guys, so I am in the van with all of my packages and it is feeling very much like Christmas in here. So I've got my box knife. Let's get into the packages and see what I got. We'll start with this one over here. Slice it open. All right. Oh. <laughs> So this first box, I'm actually probably going to end up returning. So this is actually a children's portable potty. I seen it on another YouTuber's channel, um, not Van Life, but just a family channel. And it comes with a couple of uh, trash bag fillers. And I guess, oh, there it goes. It pops out. And then locks maybe somehow. Pop, lock, and drop it. Cool. So it's this little teeny tiny potty. And I thought that I would use this as my emergency potty while I'm in the van. Like if I can't get to a gas station or a library or a store or something, I could just use this. Um... However, I did see a van lifer the other day who has something similar to this, but it's actually for adults. So this one, I read that it only holds up to like 112 pounds, and I'm usually like 110, 120 around that. So I'm really teetering on <laughs> the uh, weight capacity on this. So anywho, like I said, I saw an adult size version of this. It's all black on Amazon so I'm probably gonna return this one and then order um, that adult one I think that adult one can hold up to I forget it was a much larger weight though so um, we'll be returning this and repurchasing the adult one I gotta figure out how to put it back down so it's very convenient small to be perfect for the van oh and it comes with this cute little carrying case so that's nice little drawstring case so hopefully the adult black one is just as nice as this one. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, so this looks like, oh, this is a, a female urinary device. Again, for on the go. I think I saw the name of it. It was called a Schweiner, which is hilarious, like a she wiener <laughs> so again if I'm on the road and can't find anywhere to use the bathroom this device uh, my cousin used to be in the military and she said that they use these in the military so some type of looks like a uterus I guess you can use it like if you're gonna be outside camping or something and you need to sit up and pee you like, let me see if I can. <laughs> Apparently, you like put this part on here, the JJ, and then you can that way you can pee in it and it won't be splattering all over the place. And I guess it just like funnels out through here. So, um, yeah, hopefully I won't need to use this, but we've got it just in case. So that pretty much is gonna take care of like my toileting um, situation while in the van okay let's see what else we have uh this package i actually opened the other day because it had um a charger cord that i really needed inside so i pre-opened this one but it also has oh yeah so here was the chargers it came in like a three pack i don't need all these but whatever they were cheap um so this, oh yeah, okay, so this is just like a back seat organizer um, that I plan on putting on this back seat right there, that driver's seat chair. So this is essentially just to have more storage and organization in the van. 
next package. Okay, so in here, oh, these are just a roll of um, biodegradable trash bags. So I got these just to use as actual trash bags in the van. And then also, if I run out of those little potty insert ones, these are supposed to be um, usable as well. So, yeah, and I intentionally got the biodegradable ones to kind of be somewhat eco-friendly. Queens! So we have these. <laughs> All right, what else? This bad boy here, I'm super excited about. So this is the Jackery battery. Again, a lot of van lifers um, have some size of the Jackery battery. Um, I've learned from other people's mistakes to just go ahead and get the highest one they had, which I think is like a thousand watts. Um, I think it goes down to like maybe 100 or 250 watts, but usually when people get those smaller ones, they usually regret it because it's not enough battery. So if you have the money, go ahead and just get the larger one and it is expensive, but also an investment. I mean, this is my electricity, essentially. And this is supposed to just be like a really good brand. It's pretty heavy when I carried it out here. Yeah, this is the Jackery solar generator. I'm supposed to be able to like even hook it up to the car and charge it while I'm driving the car. Um, but also I'm supposed to be able to hook it up to a solar panel. Uh, as of right now, I have not invested in the solar panel because one, I'm running out of money. And then two, I don't know. Like I feel like y'all know I be struggling with technology. And so I just am not looking forward to figuring out how to work the battery and the solar. But we'll get her done. So yeah, here's this. I'm super excited about using this and uh, hopefully it does miss some good. I was kind of wanting to take it out of the box completely just so I can kind of get an idea of how big it is. Um, and then like where I'm gonna think about putting it in the van. So here's this, not too big, a bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be but I am sure we will find somewhere to put it and utilize it. So I'm pretty excited. It's got some plug-in jacks here, USB. I'm really excited about this. So hopefully that is a great purchase. Uh, I don't know where to put it now. <laughs> oh. Cause it obviously needs to be somewhere accessible. For me to use the plugs and whatnot but we'll just store it there for right now okay let's go with this guy next i think i know what's in this one. Oh yeah so in that box i actually had two rolls of the reflectix so the reflectix is what you use to um use on your windows to help with stealth and installation and privacy so I've got two rolls of this this will actually gonna be my first project so after this video the next fan video will probably be me working on the reflectix and for sure getting the floor on the van done um, I'm recruiting my uncle who's a carpenter he's gonna help me with the flooring um yeah so those are the next two projects reflectix and flooring and then here is reflectix flooring so I'm actually looking forward to starting that project all right, what else we got? Oh, there's one stuck underneath there that I don't think I can get to anymore. <laughs> Let's go with this one next. Ooh, I'm gonna turn this a bit more. So, <laughs> in this box I have a little vacuum. So again, I've heard that cleanliness is very important in the van, uh, especially because critters will make your van their home as well. So mice, ants, things of that nature. And um, since I'll be eating in the van and whatnot, I got this cute little vacuum to just keep it clean, tidy up any crumbs, any dirt, any debris that I can carry into the van. We've got a nice little vacuum and I'd be able to hook this up into the Jackery battery, but also just into the car itself. So excited about this purchase. 
Well, I'm kind of excited about all these purchases, really. I'm just excited about van life. Okay. Next box. Oh, yeah, struggling already. The memory card got full, and so it stopped filming. So this next box I had started opening, um, it's got quite a few things in it. So one of them is this strainer, a collapsible strainer. So I guess you should be able to just... Is that it? Does it keep collection out? I guess it doesn't go any further. Okay, so this doesn't look like what I thought it would look like. It's supposed to be a strainer. Oh, so that falls out. And I guess this is to hold the water, but it's very small. It doesn't look nearly the size I thought it would look. So, oh wait, it does go down one more. Right, here we go. Okay, so it's just this little tub. It's supposed to be like a dish strainer where I would be able to wash my dishes and then just set them in here to kind of dry off. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I might try to return this um, just cause it's a little bigger than I needed. And now that I'm, I don't know that I would actually need it. Like I should be able to just wash the dishes and then hand dry them and then put them back in their designated spot. Um, so we'll, we'll see, we'll kind of play around with this and see if we decide to keep it or not. So it does fold back down relatively easily. Is this right? Maybe not. Not doing something right. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Um, and then also along the lines of uh, collapsible dish things, this is just a collapsible basin. Um, I'm going to be using this as my sink. So this one also very thin and then you should be able to just push it out. Okay. Okay. And so then it looks like this. Just a little basin. And then it again has the little plug here where you can twist that and drain the water out. So this should work. I think I'm gonna use this, like I said, to do some washing of the dishes. Maybe if I need to give myself a little whole bath, I can do that. Put some water in here, splash my face. Um, if I, those are the only things I can think of at the moment, but that's why I purchased this. So, ooh, let's see how easy it goes back down. Okay, not too shabby. Okay, that was a lot easier than the strainer. Definitely gonna be keeping that purchase. Uh, what else? Here I bought another back seat organizer. And I remember telling myself, I think I'm gonna keep this one and maybe return the other one. I'm gonna fill the other one out to kind of see um, what type of storage capacity it has. But I think I liked this one because it had a space for the tissue box. And I actually go through a lot of tissues. <laughs> so I kind of like that I would have my tissue box readily available and out of the way. Um, so I think I'll keep this one and maybe return the other one. I bought two initially because I thought that there would be one on each each chair. But it, I won't be able to put one on the passenger side because that's where my bed is gonna be. And so obviously I can't have this hanging down if like my head, well, I probably could. We'll play around with it because obviously the more storage, the better. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking it wouldn't be able to lay on the back side of that other seat if that's where like my pillow and my head is gonna be. But maybe I'll just like leave the bottom part empty and then utilize like the top headspace so stay tuned we'll figure it out but i am excited about this purchase also oh uh, yeah this one's exciting too so this is actually a water dispenser like a faucet so it's supposed to be able to like hook up to like um some type of water basin rather it's like a five gallon water tank or whatever and it's automatic um you're supposed to be able to just 
um, charge it up again to just do a, a normal USB port so I can do that with the Jackery battery or just directly into a car port but yeah it's supposed to be just like a little automatic faucet so I can click that on if I want to brush my teeth the water will still just run or if I just need a little bit of water um, I've seen a lot of van lifers with these um, in their vans and this one actually is really pretty because it looks different than the ones the others have this one is supposed to be kind of like a charcoal gray with a purple top and purple is my favorite color so very excited to start utilizing this also okay also in this box oh a fan uh everybody swears by these fans to keep you cool keep you dry keep the air circulated in the van but mainly to keep you cool so um yeah it's just a little desk fan and i guess i can clip it somewhere in the van where i maybe i might even be able y'all can't see it but the or can y'all see that yeah like that door handle right there i might be able to clip it right there because the bed's gonna be right where all these boxes are and then that way i can be laying down and just have that uh breeze coming through so that's this purchase and i think i got two of these Maybe just one. I think I meant to get two of these. So I'll probably order a second one of these to place in another part of the van. Alrighty. What else is in here? Oh, these are something else that I'm going to end up returning. So these I found when I was purchasing the back seat organizers. These are ones that will go on the side of each seat. And so I was like, hell yeah. However, once I got in the van, I realized that it has the up and down like foldy arms that are on the side of the seat. And so it will interfere with being able to put these on. I might still try anyway and even maybe just see if I could put them on the outer parts of each chair. Because um, again, more storage, the better. More storage, more organization. So I, I got two of these, one for each chair. I may or may not end up using these. What else is in here? Okay, this is the last thing in this box. They packed that one full. Oh, another kitchen collapsible situation. So this one is a collapsible strainer. So again, very flat. And then it just yep, punches out. Boom, strainer. So I got this because um, I do plan on doing a lot of my own cooking in the van and uh, I was just thinking like noodles for some reason I was like spaghetti would be something super easy to cook in the van or even just like some mac and cheese and you're gonna need a strainer so this one is not gonna be just like this the whole time kind of bulky like your normal household strainer taking up space and like awkwardly shaped and it's also pink and gray which is kind of cute so boom and that one folds in and out very easily excited about this purchase definitely see myself using this okay so that's everything that was in this box and i don't know where to put all this stuff okay okay so this guy here i'm not actually going to open this is havelock wood it's installation it's uh supposed to be like a sheep's sheep's wool sheep wool installation um, and I purchased this because I thought that I was gonna do like a complete van renovation like taking out like all the panels all the flooring of the van and I was gonna uh, put the installation in it when I rebuilt it but I'm actually not going to be doing like a major van build so I'm not going to be using this after all at least not right now um, I had considered at least still putting it on the floor of the van because people say like their floor gets cold and again the more installation the more comfortable I'll be in the van but I, I'm going to check with my uncle when he does the floor but I don't think I will be able to use it on the floor again unless I rip up the actual flooring of the van and I'm really not trying to do all that. And then also I worried about headspace. So obviously the van is not very tall. And then if I'm like sitting on my bed and then it's just raised up from a mattress, raised up from the wool installation, I'm just worried that it's gonna make the height of the van too tall. So probably won't be able to use this. I'm not gonna be able to return it either. So that sucks if they don't let you return it. Um, 
but I've heard good things about it and it's specifically for vans as you can see hashtag van life um so that's kind of nice and with it being sheep's wool there's you know it's natural it's doesn't have like the chemicals um I think they treat it with boric acid so that helps with like ants and critters but yeah so that's that we're not going to open that box and then there's two more so this one Oh, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> this will definitely be getting returned. This is a fan, y'all. I thought that I bought two of those small ones, but apparently... Hold on, this box is about to fall. I thought I bought two small vans, but two... <laughs> I thought I bought two small fans, and apparently I must have purchased this guy. And he's massive. He's much bigger than... I anticipated. Let's open it up. Oh yeah, he's way too big for the man. Look at it. <laughs> I mean, it's a good size, but yeah, this may be too big. Like, I won't even know where I would house it, first of all. And I'm sure it gives off good, um, good circulation. Let's see. Oh, and it's used by an actual plug, so I'd have to be able to use the Jackery for it. So, yeah, this will definitely be getting returned. It's nice, but it's just too big. It's, it's way too big. I think I'll just return this one and order another small one. And then the final box, I don't think I'm going to open for you guys on camera. Essentially, it is, um, let's see. So it's this guy here and what this is is um jesus help me <laughs> and the battery's about to die i am struggling y'all okay this is essentially um just those those uh gym floor mats it's like those puzzle piece gym floor mats people were saying that they use this um or some people, some van lifers have been using that uh, to kind of help level out the floor and then also kind of insulate the flooring. So I bought two boxes of these. I may not need both boxes, so I will turn the other one. But um, yeah, the plan is to use these for the floor of the van. And I think that's it, you guys. That's everything that I have purchased so far for the van. Um definitely leave some comments below like if you've seen van life videos where people are like oh you absolutely need this or you should you know find this item on amazon so if there's anybody that has any type of suggestions on items that i could use that would be helpful for me on the road please be sure to list them in the comments below i'm so glad you guys watched this video i'm so glad that you guys are gonna watch me on this van life journey and um yeah, I think that's everything. I'll see you guys on the next video, which is going to be a Reflectix project and the flooring of the van. Um, okay, that's all I got. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and leave a comment and share the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.